I have relatively a short period of time before those chickens start to overheat. Good evening guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Abby and I warmly welcome you to the Caribbean and to my container garden here in Trinidad and Tobago. This evening I'm just going to continue this um, journal of mine regarding raising meat chickens at home or myself. As you guys well know, uh, this is my third time raising our own protein in the form of chickens to put into the freezer. Our goal is to at least with these two last batches to have enough meat in the freezer to last us at least nine to ten months. So I'm hoping that out of the 50 chickens that I have in this coop that I can at least at least guys get 45 into the freezer I'm hoping I can get 100% but the least amount that I would take happily is 45 anyway guys we don't want any losses but that's I'm just I'm just being transparent at this moment so this is now week number four and uh, the chickens have doubled in size in the last week my plan is to harvest them in six weeks and um, I'm hoping that they continue to grow well as I continue to practice good husbandry uh, keeping the coop as clean as I can by changing out the bedding by cleaning their waterers every day and by giving them feed along with the crack corn that they seem to be loving now I this week have started putting um, aloe vera into their waterers now this is something that I've learned my mom and my dad mentioned it before but I would truly say that I've learned it watching a fellow youtuber here on here on YouTube she is Marie um, on farming on the rocks I saw her cutting aloes into her chicken waterers and I just messaged, I, re I reached out to her and asked her why. And so she explained to me that the aloe vera is really good in maintaining the health of the chicken. And so I comfortably start giving the chickens that I'm raising at four weeks, their aloe vera, right down to the time that I process them, keeping that aloe vera in the water right down so that I can keep um, health issues at a minimum now usually I um, raise 30 chickens at a time but I was bold and adventurous this time and I added 20 more to that number and um, I'm actually experimenting to see if I can instead of three times out of the year raising chickens to raise chickens two times of the year to see if we can get at least a hundred birds more or less into the freezer for the year where we'll be taking 12 weeks 14 weeks max but 12 to 14 weeks out of the year to um, secure our meat source in the freezer for ourselves so that's what's new nothing much new guys besides that they're bigger now and they're producing much more waste and uh, I have to be cleaning a little more as I'm very, very conscious, self-conscious about the odors that would be emitting from the coop and I don't want my neighbors to be uncomfortable. So I'm constantly changing the bedding. I'm trying to make sure that there's no cause for complaint from the neighbors. I really do love this lifestyle, but I do live in an urban setting and I do have to keep in mind others. <laughs> so that's what's new with the coop I haven't had any losses I've started putting into the water the aloe vera as we are at the four week mark and uh, the chickens have doubled in size so if you are interested in raising your own meat birds you can keep all these pointers in mind look into my journal as to how the chickens are progressing um, in one week's time there's a striking difference in the size of the birds as they grow so guys short one today but it is a journal hope you enjoyed looking into the pages of it 
see you guys in the next one if you're new here welcome hit that subscribe button is absolutely free no additional cost to you just a whole lot more information as to how to do things in your climate or in other people's climate it's free that's it <laughs> and if you are an oldie glad you're back here so appreciate you and uh, we'll see each other in the next one take care guys bye